Brainstorming. Whether you're a startup, whether you're a big brand, or whether you're a contractor, brainstorming is as old school as it gets. All you need is a Sharpie, some sticky notes, and have a really good time. It's really important to incorporate a bit of an icebreaker because you're going to have people in the room that are both extroverts and introverts. So we'll often do just a few fun exercises, something light to get, you know, get, you know, get the blood flowing, get the laughter going, trying to get them talking, get everyone to participate a little bit in the rooms because once they hear their own voice, they're more likely to participate later in the day. A lot of times what we, we try and do is give really specific constraints to work within, give, give a framework for what it is, the problem that we're gonna try and solve in the room. There's uh, three key phrases I often use with people uh, to set the tone. Yes, and. There's gonna be people in the room who are quick to say, no, you can't do that, that's not possible. So yes shows a sign of your agreeing and acknowledging the value of their idea and is a, is a builder that allows you to build on their idea to take it to that next level. What if, you know, if you really want to get into some blue sky thinking, it are what if statements. You know, what if we did this? What if this happened? And again, when you, when you start to frame up questions around what ifs, it allows people to get outside of their boundaries and constraints to really get into blue sky thinking and, and, and come up with some bigger ideas. How might we? It gets away that you can't do this. It's like, okay, how might we accomplish this? What if we did it that way? And you start to combine those things to really get to you know, solution-focused statements and really allow people to build upon the thoughts with each other. Yeah, the beauty about you know, Sharpies and, and sticky notes is that it allows you to get a lot of ideas really quickly. So if you remember, we've kind of set up the constraints for the day. We set up some problems we're trying to solve. Now we've got people participating. There's a lot of chatter. What we want to do is you'll give everybody their own pad of sticky notes, you give everybody their own pen, and what you want to ask them to do is write down as many ideas that come to mind in a very constrained time. Once you've done that, you put that stuff away, and then you get them to do it again. The next step in the phase is really getting all those sticky notes up on the wall. And then you make sure that everybody has five stickers. It allows you to place the stickers on the ideas you like. So everyone gets five votes, so it's completely democratic. Once you've got all these stickers against the ideas, then you, you take the ones with the most votes and they go on to the next levels.